My name is Patrick Ewing. I worked on uh, tools and gameplay programming. The teens, Patrick. Let's open some old wounds here. This is a real, this is like going back to like an old battleground and being like in, on these exactly. hollowed grounds. Yeah, bad I died things on this hill. Happened. I died on this hill. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of the most complex uh, interactions in the game, if not the most, right? Yeah. And it, uh, it was in the game from the very first vertical slice we did. And then I think we kind of added to it as we played through it and saw like, oh, we should be able to throw the boombox in the lake, obviously, right? Okay, the, the teens need to react to the boombox being in the lake. Oh, but then they should also react to you putting it down. What you should do if you're making a video game is build relatively ironclad, predictable AI and systems that react to inputs. But instead, we built a series of relatively flimsy state machines that were like, if this, if this, if this, but not when, and also if. Right. And uh, we're able to create this scene as designed. Um, and Patrick was sort of the, the shepherd of this scene. So whenever anything would break, if you were to throw the boombox and the teens were not to respond, or you leave with the boombox and they would talk about something else, it was Patrick's job to ferret into the right. state machine and right. figure out what was going on. Yeah, and I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out. There are so many different ways that this scene can play out now, depending on what you choose to do. Uh, do you throw the fireworks at them? Do you talk to them and then start messing up their stuff and throwing it in? Um, and it ends up being pretty uh, like believable. They feel like real characters. Uh, it's just such a crazy spaghetti code in the in the back end that I'm always terrified when I see someone play through it, that there's <laughs> some so interaction <laughs> that we didn't think about. That right yeah. now the player is interacting with the teens in a way that is completely not by the book. And I, I mean, luckily we haven't... of sweat are, are, are building on your brow. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just a PTSD response at this point. We would see the bug reports if this was actually still breakable. Yeah.